Hi everyone, this is Rishant here. Today I'm gonna come up with a new episode. Today I'm gonna talk about an interesting topic. Have you heard it? Yes, you guys must have heard it. That's what I'm gonna talk about. How our ears work. So today, let us explore into the world of ears. But I got to tell you something after that. We all know ears and we all know that our ears detect sound. But do we know that how our ears work and how we can be able to hear things from a long distance? Well, don't worry. I'm here to tell you. Zoom in. The, the ability to accurately identify sound is possible due to the auditory system that is comprised of your ears and the brain. The ears job is to detect the sound energy into a neutral signal which is then received by your brain through three parts of the ear. The outer ear, the middle ear and the inner ear. But how does it work? It all starts with the sound waves falling on the outer part of your ear known as the pinna and then through the ear canal another part of your outer ear and heads towards the middle part of your ear hitting the ear eardrum a very delicate piece of tightly stretched skin making it vibrate like the head of an actual drum and then when this vibrating eardrum shakes a tiny chain of three bones called the ossicle. It all starts with the hammer and then to the anvil and then to the third chamber known as stapes or stirrup. But it's not over yet. Once the sound passes through the ossicle, it travels to the cochlea. Another a small circular tube filled with liquid situated in the inner ear. Co the cochlea makes the sound energy into liquid vibration. And then the cochlea consists of many hairs. And when the fluid in the cochlea moves, it shakes, it shakes these tiny hairs and then it gets sent to, through the nerves, nerve endings and then into your brain. The brain processes these signals as sound and so you hear. Trivia time! Do you know cochlea means snail in Latin? Yes! The cochlea gets its name from a unique coiled up shape that looks like a snail shell. I bet that was the first thing that came to your mind when you saw it. But not all living creatures hear with ears. Snakes use jaw bones. Fish respond to pressure changes and male mosquitoes use antenna. So today's episode ended. Hope you had fun. Subscribe for more awesome videos. For now, bye. My video is wrapping up. Don't forget to hit the bell and leave a like on this video and subscribe for more awesome videos. And if you find this video useful, don't forget to share it with your friends. Huh? So bye.